2030 is less than a decade away from now, and time seems to be zooming ahead faster than we anticipated it to. How advanced in terms of technology would be the world be in 2030 is a common question that plays on the minds of many human beings. Hello beautiful people of Earth and welcome to our channel. In this video, we deep dive into deriving some answers based on the opinions of experts on what the world would look like in 2030. But before we proceed onto exploring that, do drop this video a quick like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to tap the bell icon to be up to date on the latest happenings. Technology is moving forward so rapidly, the change is not something that is occurring daily, but rather every second. So let's zoom ahead into the year 2030. Healthcare Industry Unemployment is at quite a low, poverty is still widespread, and the pandemic inaugurating the decade hasn't made things easier. With these factors in full force, the healthcare industry has gained a massive amount of attention with loads of improvements and developments being made to it. It's soon going to be bye-bye hospitals and low hospitals. With the pandemic resulting in a lack of space in the hospitals for patients, treatment will soon take place at home instead of in hospitals, medication will be preventive, and personalized care will be the new trend. Furthermore, small robotic tubes and bioprinted organs will replace scalpels and organ transplants. Common diseases can be tested and treated in the comforts of one's home without having to see a doctor face to face. 5G Though 5G has quite recently been introduced into the world, it's just a matter of time before the entire world communicates via the service. 5G comes with plenty of benefits, including faster transmission speed, lower level of latency, implementation of virtual networks, and also can connect to a larger number of devices. As recorded in February 2021, 30% of the world has access to a 5G network. By 2025, the 5G network is expected to expand up to 3.6 billion connections. Experts have also predicted that there would be a 6G based on past trends. However, they have expected to be out for use only after 2030. Energy Transition The phases that follow after a transition are comparatively easier than the time period the transition has taken place, as well as prior to it. Currently, the majority of the world still runs in fossil fuels to succumb to their basic needs. With the recent introduction of EVs and other types of automated gadgets, companies are trying to shift the population from fossil fuels to eco-friendly sources of energy. Due to this, many new rules and regulations will be brought about to help aid the transition. Sadly, not everyone would be able to afford to make this transition, which will pose a major obstacle. Cheaper alternatives and sources of energy are currently being looked into as a solution to this problem that may arise in the near future. Blockchain Technology Although everyone is well aware of the existence of cryptocurrency, not everyone owns it or invests in it. It's just a matter of time before all the governments of the world will collaborate their activities completely or partially with blockchain technology. The number of cryptocurrency tokens is also said to reach a value in trillions, which is expected to be way more than the number of companies that will exist then. Furthermore, the world trade will also use blockchain technology as leverage to conduct its various operations. In fact, it's anticipated that the standard of living worldwide will use blockchain technology as a tool of comparison. Income discrepancy and poverty will shrink when this happens, which is quite a big deal. Going back to the moon People went to the moon over five decades ago and have not been able to do so ever since. With SpaceX and NASA collaborating their technology and manpower together, humans will be able to go to the moon once again by 2030. To make this milestone all the more glamorous, NASA is planning to send a female to the moon this time and the crew will stay on the moon much longer than the Apollo 11 mission did. This mission is planned for 2024 as of now. China's space agency, SpaceX, Blue Origin and NASA are all on the journey to send humans to the moon. The big question is, who would do it first? Do you think these developments would compromise our human identity in the process? Bless the comment section with your thoughts. If you liked our content, do like, subscribe and turn on post notifications to gain access to more of our content. See you real soon.